Good evening and welcome to ITV News Anglia. Here's a look at tonight's main story. A man shot dead by armed officers. An inquest hears he tied up two of his children and threatened to kill himself after learning his marriage was over. The police warning after a woman was raped as she walked home on a night out. If you are going out for the evening, think ahead of how you're going to get home. Perhaps uh, go with somebody or better still, make sure you've got a pre-planned lift. But just think about what you're doing and be more vigilant. Working to beat the bottlenecks, a progress report on the £1.5 billion project to save drivers time on one of our roads. And how Norfolk's Mini Monet has turned his hand to painting people as well as landscapes. Hello from Victoria and me, welcome to the programme. First tonight, an inquest heard that an engineer shot dead by police at his home in Cambridgeshire had tied up two of his children and threatened to kill himself after learning his marriage was over. Richard Davis had fired six shots at police with a handmade gun before he died from a single gunshot wound to the chest, fired by an officer in St Neots. Stuart Leith's reports. Her husband was shot dead by an armed police officer in 2015. And today, Samantha Davies arrived for an inquest in Peterborough, where the jury heard how Richard Davies had died at their home in St Neots. Assistant Coroner Nicholas Moss summarised the evidence the jury was likely to hear. He said Mr Davies had a history of mental health issues, spent time in prison when he was 19 for GBH, had been admitted to a psychiatric ward in 2004 and was on antidepressants. The 41-year-old father of three was an engineer but had recently been signed off work. He and his wife had been together for about 20 years, but their relationship broke down in 2015 and they had agreed he would leave the marital home. The inquest heard that on the day that Richard Davies died, Mrs Davies had been out of the house and the three children were at school and he had spent the day drinking and also showed his homemade gun to a man who had visited their home. In the evening, Mrs Davies went out again and it was at this point that Richard Davies started to tie up Dar was going quite late on Santa Cruz and his match. I said that to, to seriously, Sean. Can I just tell you the answer? No, 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 no. I'll get it. I'll number 31 in the world back in 2013 but earlier on this year number 453 in the world that was her ranking she's had to work her way back and now The rest of her resiliency, she just hasn't gone away. Not intimidated by the fact of playing here on center court against the number three player in the world, who's been the most consistent and successful player all year. Oh, that was tricky. Crowd appreciates that. I click to buy is here a smart hassle-free way to get a great deal on a new Hyundai. And now you can click to buy the all-new Hyundai i30 Tour. The summer sale is still on at Curry's PC World. Get free next day delivery on all Samsung fridges. Save a massive £200 on this one, just £399. Get 40% off this 1.8 kilo washer, just 229 The larger 9 kilo model is only £20 more. At Curry's PC World, we help you get it right. The county council can't match that figure, and if Sam offered 30 hours of free childcare a week, the funding she'd receive in return would see her hourly rate reduced by more than a pound. Outstanding care is outstanding care, and it all costs, and you can't continue to offer that on that type of, of money. And I think it's almost, it's an insult to our um, business to expect us to do that. At the moment, I'm not um, going to providers who've said they won't be taking part in the scheme. Maxine Milton, a childminder in Brantham, is in the same position. 
there's already some preschools in the Suffolk area that I've had emails about that are unfortunately going out of business. And I think that's the same for childminders. Because you have to take into account, you know, not just the activities that you do with the children, feeding the children, looking after the children, but obviously you've got your own premises as well to take out of that money. And it's just not something... Varies across the region. In Norfolk, it's £4.30, £4.41 in Suffolk, £4.47 in Essex, but just across the border into Hertfordshire, it jumps to £5.38. Councils can retain up to 7% of those rates to support early years services. The rest is passed on to provide. But sales have been poor and they've also slashed production. The Jumbo isn't finished just yet, though. That iconic hump is there for a reason. It lets the nose come up to load freight. It might carry fewer passengers in future, but jumbos full of goods will be filling the skies for many years to come. Richard Westcott, BBC News. 100 years ago today, women were allowed to join the armed forces in the UK. Since then, of course, quite a lot has changed. Women now serve on the front line in support roles such as men.